South Korean President Moon Jae-in has been sharing the outcomes of his summits with Kim Jong-un over the weekend. He spoke with leaders of the United States, Japan and Russia and expressed appreciation for their support and promised to coordinate closely with all of the allies. Oh Jung-hee tells us more. It was phone call after phone call over the weekend for South Korean President Moon Jae-in sharing the outcome of the inter-Korean summit with the U.S. and nearby countries. The relay phone conversations began on Saturday night when President Moon talked with U.S. President Donald Trump for over an hour. President Trump said Seoul and Pyongyang have made a significant progress in their relations, and President Moon replied it was all possible thanks to President Trump's strong support. He added the inter-Korean summit lays the groundwork for success in President Trump's own summit with the North Korean leader. President Trump said it's very good news for not only the two Koreas but for the whole world that they reaffirmed the goal of achieving a nuclear-free Korean peninsula through complete denuclearization. The leaders reaffirmed that their governments will continue to coordinate closely to achieve the complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. President Trump said he's on the same page with Seoul and Pyongyang on their agreement to formally end the Korean War and expressed anticipation for his meeting with the North Korean leader. On Sunday morning, President Moon had a phone conversation with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Prime Minister Abe praised the fact that the leaders of South and North Korea reaffirmed the goal of complete denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula through the Panmunjom Declaration. He said that North Korea's moves are especially forward-looking and hopes the declaration leads to specific actions. The Japanese leader said Tokyo is willing to talk with Pyongyang to normalize relations and settle the affairs of the past, and President Moon told Abe that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un feels the same. Prime Minister Abe said he'll work for an opportunity to talk with North Korea and will ask for South Korea's help if necessary. Finally, the South Korean leader spoke with his Russian counterpart late Sunday afternoon and thanked him for his strong support. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the results of the inter-Korean summit will form a solid foundation for building an unwavering peace on the Korean peninsula and hailed President Moon's accomplishment of something he said was very difficult to achieve under complex circumstances. President Putin said the inter-Korean summit should lead to a trilateral economic project among Seoul, Pyongyang and Moscow, and President Moon agreed with him. The Russian leader also invited President Moon to make a state visit to Russia in June. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.